Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of D and I Tasters. Today we are ordering from one of our all oh, these ex colleagues, Darren, right? Yep. Yeah, he runs this very famous uh what's that? Kopitiam Western food. food called butternut. Now there's a lot of reviews going on about this butternut. Yeah, so we shall join the fun, it will be one of them. So this for memory serves one of the first places we went to when we were dating, right? Yep. But the issue is his shop is actually very very far for us. We live in the far east. Our dear friend, his shop is at Taman Jurong. Yep. <laughs> so it's one hell of a trip. But honestly, it's worth it, lah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when we went over, he just started not so long ago, right? Yeah. yeah. A few months already. A few months in, and his food was really very awesome already. And they were doing a lot of R&D back then as well. Yeah. Mm. So we were, we were, how to say, we were kind of, kind of proud that it actually grew into such a booming business. Yeah, that he has, can open one in Tampines, uh, one in the north, I'm not very sure, I can't remember where, but yeah, I think it was about one. And yeah. Yeah, so we have always wanted to go back and try, Darren, yeah, but we kind of... Too far. <laughs> Sorry, it's just too far. <laughs> yeah, but we miss his food like a great deal. Yeah. So we're gonna join the bandwagon and we are gonna give him a food review. So to help our friend, you can boost and help us like this and make it go viral. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So today we got we ordered from him since it's so far away. We ordered his butternut. Pizza. Butternut chicken pizza. Pe- chicken pizza. Yes, this is one of the reasons why I like the pizzas a lot. You see the crust is so thin. Ah, this is the kind of pizza that I like. Okay, then we ordered from them the baked, baked Alfredo salmon. salmon spaghetti. Yeah, this is their sweet potato fries, which previously, we, yeah, we tried also, we love it. And this is my personal favorite, it's their portobello mushroom. Mm. Mm. I quite love Sorry. this, the Holland Puto Bello mushrooms. So without much further ado, we are going to start trying it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I so miss this man. It has been how long? Since we started dating. So it oh, has been three plus years, four years. Three plus years, four years going from five. Yeah. Really. So the smell of the fish is actually quite strong. I hope it's not overly fishy. Uh but I'll be trying the fish, the salmon first. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. It's not. It's not um overhooked. Uh, the doneness is quite good. It's not very fishy. Um, I would say it's better than a lot of Western places that I've eaten. Uh, let's try the pasta. Okay, so the pasta look like this. It's actually white. So it's like it's like the carbonara center. Yeah, so this is something unique. Most people bake rice, I guess. Nobody really bake pasta. And carbonara pasta at the end comes out like that. So it's really like, ooh, let me see. Look at that, look at that. How is the sound? How is the spaghetti? Spaghetti's not bad. Um, could use a bit of salt. A little bit more salt. But maybe I'm not mixing it up uh, enough. But the flavors are there. Um, just could use a bit more seasoning in my opinion. Uh, salmon is cooked well. It's not. It smelled fishy at first, but it's actually not very fishy. It actually tastes pretty fresh. Uh, so yeah, this is this is a pretty good one for them. Uh, so far, I say I'll give it a solid. The pasta itself, a six and a half seven. The salmon, I would say about like eight eight point five. Mm. It'll be a good one. Um, it cannot match. Uh, what's that? Uh, what's the one that? Uh, burning oak. Yeah, cannot match burning oak. But yeah, it's close. It's a close. It's a close. Uh, second. If you are saying the salmon alone lah. Yeah, yeah, just on the salmon Because it's not fair to compare <laughs> Japanese food and Western food. 
Yeah, ain't very lot. fair and they grill it and this one is big yeah. so it's not apple to apple again <laughs> yeah but like the taste of the salmon is it's pretty good lah it's for you know but a lot of places their salmon is usually over overly fishy and this for me right you're eating it anything you want I know you like it so you can have it mm, I love salmon skin yeah I know okay so uh We'll put this aside for now and then we'll try the next I won't give her my review on that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I had one mouthful of it, right? Mm. What impressed me the most is that the spaghetti, right? It's still kind of al dente. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, usually when we cook it already, right? They put it in an oven, right? There's a chance that you'll A, become overdried. B, you got super country. Crunchy, lah. No, no more moisture. But this one, okay, right? Um. It's, still, it's still spaghetti. Right, it's still spaghetti. The thing here, I feel like they can maybe go a little bit more heavy handed on the seasoning, a little yeah. bit more. Cause what happened is right now all I tasting is salmon, mm. and cream and cheese. That's it. The dill is the dill. Uh, the dill the dill herb is not strong enough to yeah. balance it all out yeah. So I feel that if you eat more of it, right, eventually you can chill up. Yeah. That's the feeling it gives Maybe in the center it might be different, but yeah. Yeah, we, current, moment, current moment, first first impressions goes, yeah. you can use a little bit more seasoning. Yeah. Probably I would like it to be a bit more spicy. Maybe I would like a dash of paprika inside. They have a spicy option, oh. which I did not choose. Oh. Because I cannot have spicy. Oh, yeah, maybe you should just go for a spicy option because you will balance out nicely. Mm. Right now it's just... Cream la la cream! Oh dear yeah. me lord! Yeah, very creamy. Okay, so we shall move on to a side. This is their sweet, sweet potato, potato fries. fries with cinnamon. With cinnamon? Mm. Oh, the other one with cinnamon. The cinnamon is not very strong that you that you overpower the sweet potato. Mm. It's just a nice accompaniment. Mm. Um, since we tap out, it's not as crispy as it was previously when we ate it there. Yeah, when we ate it there, it was nice and crispy. It ain't soggy. Yeah, it's, but, you know, so when you tap out, you know, it's going to be get slightly soggy, especially for fries. Um, so, Please yeah. get it fresh, yeah. Uh, uh, even if it, when it's soggy, it's still, still good. This is the first time you see me eat so many sweet potato fries in my yeah. city. I uh, never like sweet potato fries, but this is... So far, it's one of the better ones I've eaten uh, around. Even like, it's, it's, it's definitely comparable to um, Shilling and all the other, all these like Taiwanese food. I feel uh, theirs is a bit better, I don't know why. It's comparable, la. it's just their, the, theirs doesn't have breeding. The Shillings uh, are not have breeding and it's, and it's more oily. So it's more, yeah, more oily. So this one is. This is okay. I think this one is more baked mm. and fried. Yeah, next, what do you want to try next? I'm addicted to it already. You know, I'm this person who really don't like sweet potato. And you also like, don't like cinnamon. And I don't like cinnamon. But you, in just that one review from you, yeah. you know, you talked a lot. I already ate like five. <laughs> okay, I'm trying the pizza. Oh no, it got stuck. Yeah, I don't want a big piece, I want a small piece of me. Oh, this is the butternut. The reason I ordered this is because it has its namesake, butternut. Yeah. So, so it looks like this. Yeah, yeah. I like that it's so thin, you see the crust. It's so thin and crispy. Mmm, there's a nice snap and crunch to it. See it? What I like the most is about their pizza is one is the very crispy uh uh pizza though. Okay. Then there's a good mixture of savory, sweet um, notes in between. Mm. My new uh, chewing on the butternut. Then it comes to get the chicken, the herbs, and the cheese. It just intermingle with the butternut. So it, there's a very nice sweet, salty, savory, umami flavors coming through. This is a very balanced pizza. Mm. Mm. You don't have too much of the pomodoro, which is the tomato. You don't have too much of the butternut. You don't have too much of the saltiness of the chicken and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a perfectly balanced pizza, which is what I appreciate from them as well. And the, Very rare you get balanced pizza, actually. One of the things I also do like about this pizza is it's not overly saucy and soggy. Mm. Even though it, it, like, it came all the way, right, and it's so thin, right, 
it's not soggy. It's still crispy, it's still crunchy, you know. Um, usually for a pizza this thin, if you, with the sauce and uh, the humidity that comes with takeaway, by now it would be quite soggy, but it's not. It's not. Mm. Kudos man, Darren. I mm. don't know how you did it. This is good. Yeah. The pizzas are one of the uh, favourites. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, last is not our this... portobello, stuffed portobello. Mushrooms. Yeah. I heard that this is a fan favourite of theirs. Mm. Mm. Together Maybe... with their Balinese wings, but I don't eat it because it's chilli. So... so we did not order it. I can't yeah. solo eat on myself with all this. So yeah. maybe another time, mm -hmm. maybe part two review, we will do that. Yep. But hey, we're going to eat this. Yeah. We're going to eat your hand. I so this know. is how it looks like. Okay. okay. I'm holding it up for you guys to see. Okay. Two, oh, one. Oh. Ah, yeah. You should eat it there. Go to visit him at Taman Jiro and eat it. The cheese is meltier there. Yeah. Mm. You know, you can taste the cheese is it's not as melty as I tried to. Um, Solidify. Yeah, so it's not as good. But still. The flavors are there though. Yeah, the mushroom flavors are. The the, the, the umami of the mushroom is very strong. Mm. It goes well with the saltiness of the cheese. And I think there's a hint of something that come. Put my finger on it. Oh. If it wasn't cold, because we decided to like order in, mm -hmm. actually, we will pull the mozzarella strands out. Mm. Mm. Wow, back then, I was so shook. Each bite you pull, right? Yeah. Alright, so. I was so marveled by it. I would say this is a definitely a. For me, it's a 9, 9.5. Mm -hmm. This is also a 9. This is my dream pizza. This, this is, is 10. This is uh, one of the better stuff portobello that I've ever had. So it's a eight, for me, it's 8.5. Definitely, bet it'll taste better if we ate it hot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just eat, based on what we're having now. Yeah, and 7, about 7.5, 8. Pasta itself. Could be gelat, not so sure yet, but definitely around six, six and a half, six point five to seven. Yeah. So for me, this is a ten out of ten. This is my dream pizza. Yes, it don't have olives, but yeah, the balance is just right. Very me. This one, is the first time I actually whack <laughs> sweet potato fries, so I'm gonna give it a nine point five. Minus five, zero point five because we ordered in and soggy, <laughs> so it's our fault. Yeah. Then, portobello mushroom, I love it. I really, really love it. Previously, it was an eye opener. I was like, oh, I didn't know it can be that good. Yeah, the flavors never change, which is very good. It's still consistent. So, I'll still give it its 9.5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the uh, Alfredo pasta baked, uh, I think it's 7 for now. Mm. Let's see how gelat we go. Mm. Yeah. Uh, actually, would, like, would have, I usually order their, the previous time I ordered their spaghetti, uh, their big spaghetti pomodoro with uh, big chicken. Uh. That one was really an eye-opening experience because the chicken was very crispy. Um, you know, together with the pomodoro, you know, it was a very nice balance of sour, of sourness together with um, the slightly sour, sweet, uh, and you know, the flavours of the chicken goes very well with the spaghetti. La. But yeah, decided to try something new with this. And yeah. So I think that's the conclusion of our review. Part 1 uh, review, we can't do this too often. <laughs> yeah, we will all you know, go and have our dinner now. So, uh, so catch you guys up in another episode. Yeah. yeah. Maybe next time we will try to film us eating there if there is we can eat at the police mart. I doubt so. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure out if yeah. this time go by. But yeah. yeah, do check them out. Really, yeah. they have deliveries island wide. 
Yeah, we will link you guys up in the mm-hmm. description below. So do do order. Yeah. yeah. And if you can take chili, do take their spicy stuff. Because their spicy stuff are indeed nice. Like really yeah. seriously nice. Yeah. So that's all for this episode. A great mm. shout out to our friend Darren. Yeah, you yeah. did awesome. Darren and Vivian. Yeah, great you job. great job. Yeah. We miss you guys. Hope to yeah. see you guys soon. <laughs> Alright. Ciao. Ciao. Catch you guys in the next video.